the allotment again. Um, I wasn't planning on making a video, but I thought, as I've just seen the chickens doing something interesting, I thought I'd take a, a video of it and show you what I've been doing in, since the last video. Uh, I don't know whether the, the, you've seen a whole bunch of these uh, plants have been coming up. Now this is new. This orange fence it goes from it goes from the entrance of the chicken run. And it goes all the way around here, past these plants. Now, there's the chickens. Ah, I'm wondering if it's going to do it now. They are, they are starting to get a taste for the apples that are falling from the tree. Which I didn't know chickens uh, had a taste. I know they got a taste for, uh, like, grapes. I give them grapes. Uh watermelon sometimes if i can get it cheap you know but i've not seen them eat apples before but yeah i've seen them these apples here they'll start picking at those shaking them around getting chewing bits off anyway so yeah this fence this is just a temporary one it's going to be here for several weeks this orange fence and uh, it goes from there to the uh, corner of the shed. So they got this access, access to this area also. Yeah, they seem to be liking their new new area. Uh, yeah, this was all rotivated a, a couple of weeks ago. I've been tipping wheelbarrowfuls of manure down here just to get some uh, life going on in the in the area here. The shed or a new shed is going to get. Uh, put up over here and then this whole area will be for the growing stuff and the chickens to run around on I've noticed like this one it's holding its wings outwards I'm, I'm, that might be uh, due to the the warmth and the heat they got lots of shade here though they got there's plenty of the there's two big trees here that I inherited from the uh, previous people these are where the uh, apples are coming from. Yeah, they've got lots of shade, but it's just a, a warm day. Now that I want them to, they're not going to be eating any apples. Yeah. Anyway, so this gives them a lot more area to run around on. The, uh, they like eating the, the grass. Wish there'll be a lot more grass grown in this area, I would imagine. Once we get the uh, the area flattened down totally and the, the shed put up. Yeah, this is a storage area where they got the, the, the run of that area also. That's fenced off. Now in here, you've seen this from this angle before. You've got your food on the left, water on the right. Uh, right there where my finger, well, that's the, the food, grain, that's the water, uh, that's rice. And then in this bottle, just behind the uh, fence here, that's uh, 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 layers layers mash it's like layers pellets but it's powder form and there's another water container i keep two water containers in there now because of the heat uh, i don't want one growing dry uh you know so they've always got access to double the water regular times they'll have uh, you know just the one but because it's warm it's best to give them uh, give them two it's always best to give them more than what they need that way because if they ever 
if they ever do run short of water, it's only going to be bad news for everybody. So uh, giving them more than they need is is best. Now that's the neighbour's uh, plot, but their plant is growing through my fence, so uh, it's open season. Yeah, I don't know what kind of plants those are, but they seem to like them. Yeah, I'm gonna find out what kind of plant that is. Anybody, anybody recognize that plant? I'll see if I can uh, grow some. Yeah, they do seem to, they do seem to like it. Yeah, this is good because uh, they can have a, the, the access to a lot more area of the plot. And it means that I don't have to be standing here watching them all the time making sure they're not running over to somebody else's plot and destroying their veg. Uh, in the mornings when I send them over to the compost heap over there where the council brings, I, uh, I have to sort of be there to supervise, make sure they don't run off into somebody else's plot. But this is good because it's, uh, it's the, the half the compound is surrounded by this orange fence, which means I can I can leave them and do other stuff like water some plants and whatnot. I don't know whether that's clear, but they're they actually like the brand new shoots that have come up. Nice green, green shoots. Oh. Now that's a problem. See, I tell you what, see that little, there's a little gap underneath. They managed to get through that. Ugh. I tell you, they're crafty. Any, any way that they can get through, you gotta fill in every, every hole. All right, let's see if I can get this one. Okay, there you go. You can hold it out from underneath, underneath the chest. pick them up like that. Yeah, you put your hand underneath them so they're facing towards you. And pick them up. Yeah, see, he's trying again. He's trying to get underneath that. I'm gonna have to put something there. I tell you, they're, quite, they're really good escape artists. This is something that I acquired off a neighbor's plot when they left. Two of those, I put them in. They actually like going through that tunnel. You know, they like walking through there. It's a bit of fun for him. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put something in that hole there. I tell you what, I've actually seen them try and squeeze through these holes. It's crazy. So they can be dumb on the one hand and uh, really ingenious on the other. Anyway, all right, there's my, uh, I'm told these are slow berries. I got this, uh, there's two plants, there's one plant of this and there's a different plant there. One of the two I got for a quid in Poundland. I don't know which one it was, it was a year and a half ago. There's like some chard, there's more chard, there's something else. Uh, there's some carrots and lettuce and carrots over there and... Here's some mystery plants. There's my uh, rhubarb. There's the cage hugo culture, I'm gonna top that up eventually. 
there's the other tunnel they like going through. Uh, a mint, no, uh, yeah, mint plant. I'm gonna put that in there eventually if that was, if that grows some more. Tomatoes. It's a bit difficult to see in the viewfinder because uh, the sun's so bright, but there you go. So uh, when I open the door, I put something there to block off the, the gap. The fence goes around all the way up the other side. There's that mint plant. There's the area. And there's the paving slabs I took from a, another plot when they left. I took them up because that's going to be the flat area for the shed. And uh, there's a, there you go. And there's the fencing there. Oh, I've seen something they're like. I've been tipping, this is a court, there's about three, three or four, three, four or five manures, uh, wheelbarrow loads of manure throwing that down, give them something to amuse themselves. And it's, uh, it's gonna add a bit of nutrients because the grass is a bit dry, the dirt's a bit dry down here. It used to be quite fertile because it was overgrown with weeds and long grass. Uh, that all got all ripped up and now it's sort of dry. There you go, some leaves. Somebody left. Every now and again, somebody from the other plots will drop off some leaves. Okay. There you have it, folks. 